My mother did three things for me. One. Come then. She spared my life the day that I was born. Dead. I won't. Two. She paid for my upkeep on her knees and on her back. Kiss me. Why? In celebration of my wickedness. And three. She gave me the story I can never tell. It was near shot, shot near where I, I, I live quite a lot of the year and down in Castletop area. Well, the first one attracted me was because the characters were so interesting that Anne Rice had written in, in Interview the Vampire. Staten Louis, and particularly the character Louis, he was so full of guilt, you know. And I thought the book was an extraordinary examination of kind of enduring guilt I've ever read, really, you know. And uh, what attracted me to this one was the f similar the fact that the two central characters, you know what I mean, they were so dynamic and so... And they were female, which is a total you know, left turn for a vampire movie, I think, you know? And uh, it was, um, it was kind of, um, it would have been interesting even if it wasn't a vampire film, I think, the examination of these two characters. The fact that they were pretending to be sisters, you know? She had the, mother, the daughter so young, they were all, they could almost have been sisters, you know? I mean, even if, there was another explanation for that fact. It would have been a fascinating relationship, wouldn't it? And they're on the run from something you don't fully understand. But then, the fact that there were vampires give this wonderful opportunity to tell the story in two different time periods, you know? In the 18th century and the present day. If you lived with a secret, what would you do? There is a code that we survive by, Ellen. Keep it. Ellen has written a story. In her story, she says that she lives with vampires. My mother lives on human blood and has done for two centuries. She is an aberration. We are a brotherhood. There are no women amongst us. We should not permit her to survive. Whole. Do we steal time? We buy it. With blood. We've been here before. Look at me! We couldn't afford to do that, and, and I thought it was a bit of a stretch anyway, getting these characters from England to Turkey and back, even the modern, even the modern times, even on Ryanair, you know. The young guy who was dying of leukaemia, he would have been dead by the time he got there. And I said to Maura, let's look at Irish versions of the same legends, of which there are many, you know, and uh, we, she suddenly got very excited, which thrilled me, and, you know, we came up with this strange island off the west coast of Ireland. Stephen Woody had commissioned the script and he showed it to me, you know, after they'd been working on it for a while, so, you know, and I could still see some theatrical roots there, you know, and, and I went through the script with Maura and asked her to turn it more into a proper vampire film, you know. I kind of like making movies because it's just such a great pleasure making up images, you know, and there's a strange thing that happens in films, you can see things very clearly in your mind and, you know, then you go through all this madness of finding locations and budgeting and suddenly you're shooting something and it's exactly like the thing you saw in your mind. It's a weird thing that happens, so it gives you faith.